Hello and welcome to the short tutorial with Step by Step by Miriam. In the short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can achieve totals, find the highest, the lowest, the average amount, and also how to find a percentage for items out of an overall total. So the first thing we're going to do is to select so uh, H4 here. On this particular spreadsheet, I have my various expenses for a six month period. I have heating and lighting, food, rent and rates, transport, wages, insurance, etc. And this is all for January, February, March, April, May and June. So to get an overall total, there's a very simple way of doing this. I simply click on the auto sum function here on the editing group. And this will now put in what's called the auto sum formula. The auto sum formula. The auto sum formula currently reads equal sum of B4 to G4, which is exactly what I want. I want Excel to sum up that cell range from B4 to G4, so I press my enter key to accept. Once I have the formula already calculated, I click back into the cell that contains the formula bar. That contains the formula. I'm just going to draw your attention here up to the formula bar. Always check your formula bar before you copy references down or formulas down, just to double check that, that it is correct and it is what you want to copy. Since it is, I'm going to place my mouse pointer here on the bottom right hand corner of my cell. This is where you can pick up what's called the fill handle. The fill handle is represented by a thin black cross. So once the fill handle shows up, hold down your mouse button and simply drag it right down to cell H14. In cell H14, we now have the overall total. It has now added up all of the items and all of the values for that six month period. This figure is important, so maybe I should put a little highlight on this figure since we're going to use it in, in, in a few moments. Now in this cell, in cell I4, I require Excel to extract the highest amount that I have paid for that six month period. And I can simply do this by putting in equals max, MAX and open brackets. And then place my mouse pointer on the first cell of the cell range. Drag it right across, and only as far as June, because this is just for the six month period that I require. And then, of course, close your brackets. So here, to have Excel extract the highest figure, it's equals max open brackets, and again, put in the cell range from B4 to G4. Enter the formula. Again, I'm going to select the cell check my formula bar that it is correct and that, that my cell range is correct as well and when I'm happy I simply copy that down and now I'm going to select cell J4. In cell J4 I would like Excel to extract the lowest figure for the six month period and again I can do that by putting in a formula by saying equals min, M-I-N, short for minimum, open brackets, so equals M-I-N. Again I can select the cell range by dragging right across it and as you can see now Excel automatically inserts the cell range for me B4 to G4. I simply close the brackets so if you open a bracket you must close it. Brackets always come in pairs. Again I'm taking a quick glance up at my formula bar just to make sure that it is the correct formula and again once I'm happy I enter it. Then I click back on the cell Copy it down using the little autofill. Next, I require the average. What is the average that I paid out over that six month period for heating and lighting? Well, again, I'm going to do that by using a formula. So it's equals A V E R A G E. And it must be the full word this time. Open brackets. And again, I'm going to drag select the cell range from B4 to G4. I should point out at this point that you can actually physically type it in. You could just type in equals average open brackets B4 full colon to G4 and close brackets. And again, quick glance at the formula bar as well, just to make sure that I have entered my formula correctly. Enter. Once my formula is entered correctly, glancing at the formula bar, I'm happy. So I'm now quite happy to copy that formula the whole way down, right down as far as cell K13. Now, in this cell, in cell L4, it says the six month total expense figure. Well, I already have that. If I draw your attention back down here to cell H14, you can see that we have the overall total expense. 
for our items for the six month period. So a nice little way around this is I'm going to put in a little formula here and say equals the cell, which is cell H14. So I'm going to press the enter key and it automatically puts in a 398 figure, 398,000 figure, I should say. Once I have my item totals in this column, in column H, and my overall figure here in cell L4, I can now calculate the percentage again by the use of the formula in this cell O4. And it's a very simple formula, and it goes as such. It equals the item total for heating and lighting. So this is my heating and lighting figure for the sixth month period, divided by, which is the little slash, if you're using a numeric keypad, it's often above key 8. If you're using the regular uh, QWERTY keyboard, it's usually under the question mark, but however, either way, it's the forward slash. That's your dividing sign. So my formula this time is equals H4 divided by the overall figure, this one. Now, since I'm going to copy this figure the whole way down, I would like to make the figure in cell L4 absolute. And I do that by pressing the F4 function key, which is going to make that cell absolute for me. And now I press my enter key. And now that I have the heating and lighting calculated, I'm going to say, copy that the entire way down. These don't look like percentages yet, so let me show you what you do next. You simply click on the percentage symbol in the numbers group. Now again, you will observe that the laundry and the replacements down here are coming up as zero. But if we look back on the laundry and the replacements, we, did, we certainly had expenses for the six month period. So why is it coming up as zero and zero? Well, let me show you. If we come back up here, and we have got increase the decimal place, and we're going to click on that. Let us see the number of decimal places after the decimal point. So now you can see the overall decimal places. So that's how you can calculate totals, highest amount using the maximum, lowest amount using the minimum formula, average amount using the average formula, a simple form to say copy the cell contents, and then over here to calculate the percentage. So thank you for watching Step by Step by Miriam.